guys, it's I, Floyd Massey, and yes, I am using my tablet to record this since you guys know what my voice looks like. It is indeed Friday on Saturday when I use it record, but now that you have a better little view of me, <coughs> let's talk about. Let's start off with something that I have done. So, let me pause this for a second. Yes, this is indeed another card opening, but no, you guys can, before you click off, no, it is not Pokemon. It is indeed Yu-Gi-Oh. I went to the drugstore and bought some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards today. These are two really good ones. One being a structure deck, and another one being a Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions Movie Pack Gold Edition. So let me get this up for a full second. Alright, so here's the first one. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions Movie Pack Gold Edition. And there are three Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimension Packs, five cards in each. One of two cards and another one of two cards. You can get possibly one of these four. Or maybe two of the four. So here are the packs right here. And let me open these one at a time. Alright, so we have the cards here. First one gonna be... Oh, yes! Look at that shine! That is a Blue Eyes White Dragon movie edition. It looks so beautiful. This thing looks amazing from here. What is this? Dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Firstly invincible, very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell about it. And its attack is 3,000 defenses, 2,500. So this is a really good card. And then another one we have here is a... Durza the Meteor Cubic Vessel? Yeah. Um, this is another machine card with attack 1600 defense 1600. If this card is normal special summon, you can send one cubic card from your deck to the graveyard once per turn. During either player's turn, if a monster was sent to the graveyard this turn, while this card was face up on the field, you can make this card gain 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard until the end of the turn. So these are really good cards. We're going to put them right here. And now we're going to get to the opening of these. This might be a two part video since my tablet only records 8 minutes now. But for some reason, when I put it on face cam, it records for like 30, so I don't know what the problem is. So. I don't know. So, let me get these things open. Alright, so here we go with the first cards. We have Dimension Guardian, all these being gold, so yes, they are really good. Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. Nice. We have a Dragon's Fighting Spirit. Dimension Reflector. And Dimension Sphinx. All of which are gold cards. Now we got one down, two more to go. Alright, so here we have Dark Magician Girl, which I hear is a good card. A Pandemic Dragon. A Induced Explosion. A Spiritual Sword of Revealing Light. And a Deep Eyed White Dragon, which is also a really good card. Because basically if you play it, you get the attack and defense from any dragon type monster you have in your graveyard. Which is pretty good. Another thing is that, let me, guys, let me know what you think about these. Let me doing Yu-Gi-Oh cards instead of Pokemon cards, because, I mean, it's not cute monsters, <coughs> like usual. Like, it's not like something you guys will cringe for. Okay. We have a Dark Magician Girl. We have Feet on the Cubic Seed. We have a K Kaiser Vorse Raider. We have another blue eyes white dragon pulled out of that. And the final card is a Metamorphosis. Metamorphotris. So these are all really good cards. I'm going to put them in my sleeves. Now we're going to get to this thing right here. So let's get to it. This is a Yu Gi Oh! starter deck, the Yu Ya. So I think this is from Arc V. I don't remember, but this is I think the only one they had. 
there, so these things I guess are selling, because usually they restock for some reason. But here are all the cards you can get from here. And I think this is the first time. 35 common cards, 2 ultra rare, 3 super rares, 3 tokens, 1 beginner guide, and 1 deluxe mech, when usually it's 40 common cards. So this would be perfect for me to duel with. So if I were to find someone, instead of me having to worry about, I'm only going to have, I'm going to have like 45, it's going to be too much. Now I can say I have 43, which is almost a perfect amount. So let me get this open. Also, one thing that's been happening this week is every time I say abracadabra, for some reason things have been happening. And apparently I hear that if you say abracadabra, one of these cards will be this guy. So if you say it with me, abracadabra, whoa, 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 we got him. We got him, no way. Oh, that's so cool, I can't believe magic works. We also have a playing mat here, which is good. I also have a blank little card here. I don't know what this is. Hmm. And a beginner's guide. So we have that. Now we got the starter deck. So here it is right here. All cards are right here. So let's get into opening these. And another thing I've seen is with uh, some other Yu-Gi-Oh channels like Team APS, Super Unlucky. And another channel that I think is partners with Big... I think? Big and Unlucky, Big and... Un Bulk and something, I don't know. It's Bulk something, but they... All three of those channels are really good, cool, really cool. Go check them out. Go check out Team APS. They've been helping me a good bit with um, learning exactly how to get back into this game since it's been a while. But yeah, let's keep going. So this is Performo Slight Hand Magician that we summoned when we said Avacadabra. Thanks to you guys. Next we have Primal King Bear. It's good. Primal Moon Carpet. Primal Paratrio. Primal Long Phone Bull? I don't know. Ah, they're slipping. Hold on. Gotta fix this. Crap. Okay, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that guy. Things are sliding. sliding. This is a Performance Swing Cobra. Swing Cobra. We have Performal Teeter Totter Hopper. We have Performal. No, we have Odd Eye Pend Pendulum Dragon. We have Stargazer Magician, we have Time Gazer Magician, we have Performal Drum Drumarella, Performal Second Donkey, Performal the Hippo, Foul Counts Cannon, Archbean Eccentric, Gene Warped Wolf, Beast King Barabos, Pitch Black Werewolf, Dragon Dowser, Giant Rat, Performal Dramatic Theater, Slime World, Hippo Carnival. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up. All these cards you can find in the structure deck. So, get to the next. What's going on, guys? Now we're done doing the uh, card opening. I see all the cards. So you can see, yes, I've already opened them. This is the magician that we pulled because you guys said have a good abra. <clears throat> so, good job. So good job for sticking around. Um, Before we get into the next part of the video, I just want to say something. There's a um, YouTuber that it's a friend of mine and only has like three subs but um he's not doing well um for some reason he's been dealing with a lot of stomach pain lately and he's at, the, at first he was doing good but then at one point he was just not feeling good and it is tough you know people face life and death all the time and it's really sad to see someone you know um, be in so much pain because no one wants to be in pain. No one does, but I mean, he was going through some pain for a good while for like two days straight and I mean, what can you do? I mean, the only thing I can do is pray for him, but I've been doing that for the past two days and I'm just hoping that he's feeling okay. Hoping that he's doing pretty good, but just a moment at a time. I just want to have a moment of silence for him just so that way Christian, if you're watching this, um, you know, I know I haven't been a, one of your best friends, but I know um, I haven't been there for a while, but just know that I'm praying for you. Everyone on the channel is praying for you. Everyone in the comment section is praying for you. And we're all making sure that you're doing okay because I think you're one of the first people to keep saying in my channel that my channel's going to get better, and it will. 
but it's not going to be because I'm famous or I live in California. Look, look at my room. Look at this. I don't live in California, guys. You don't have to live in California to be where I am. You just have to do it, get on the live shout-out stream. Just go on there for a while. Meet people. It's basically, basically getting however many community help you can get. And it's people in your home, town. Some people can destroy you, but some people will, will eventually help you. No matter what, so I just want to pray for Christian real quick in just a moment of silence for him. Dear Lord God, we thank you for this day. We I'm praying for Christian right now in this video, Lord God. Lord God, I'm hoping that he's feeling a little bit okay, Lord God. It's your will on what his um what his condition is, Lord God. It's in your will that everything happens. It's your will of what happens to me. And to what happens to all my subscribers and everyone who watches my videos. Lord God, it's in your will that we obey you, that we worship you. Lord God, it's in your will that we run by you. Lord God, help us all when we all face life and death. Help us all to stay steadfast and love you no matter what. And that you aren't the first priority and not the second or the third. You're just number one. Lord God, we thank you for this day. Watch I wasn't care for us, so give us what you tell you. And in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. And that, my friends, is how a prayer works. Now Now that I've gotten that out of the way now. It's time for me to get on to the next video. Not the next video, but the next part. Oh wait, wait, I don't I don't look good at all. Oh wait, I know exactly what to do. Well there guys, it's up, we're gonna say Abracadabra. And I'm going to change outfits. Ready? Abra. Cadabra. Whoa, it totally worked. Oh, wait. This will work. Okay, so let's get on to the main part of why I'm doing today's video. It's because comment section story time. First of all, shout out to Hypnotic Page. Hit, shout out to... Um, a lot of you guys. Shout out to Subnautic. Shout, shout out to. Uh, hold on. Zaz. Shout out to Wigos, fellas. Shout out to. A lot of people. Crazy CRian. Shout out to. Subnautics. Uh. What did I say? Hold on. Let me look. Give me a second. But yeah, basically, what the reason I'm doing exactly this part of the video is because of one reason, because of the fact that comment section story time is something I've been leaning on your guys' channels, on your guys' latest video, basically detailing a little bit of a comedic comment that no one has seen before. See, I'm watching my video right now. And basically, basically, I've been leaving people comments. Kind of based on like the first 30 seconds or 45 seconds of people's videos, and some of you guys have been absolutely loving it. Some of you guys have been absolutely incredible with this because you. Do, I was expecting to get a lot of hate for this, but not really. But, oh. Wait a minute! Oh, someone unsubscribed. Who was it? Oh, I knew it. It was a bandana's kitchen. She thought it was some kind of person, but apparently she hates me now. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. It's gonna take me a while to find this. But I will find this. Oh, Alex Mods YT. Alex Mods YT, I did this on his channel. I did this on Dodo Central, I think. I don't know. I did this on, I think. John Wayne's channel, maybe. Um, I know I recently did it on Zaz. Wigos, fellas. What else did I do? A little more. Uh, so basically, what this is, is basically, I am telling you guys what my thoughts are of the video that I've watched in one minute, and I'm making like a parody, like a reading, like a two-person reading. Me being me, and guys, people, who wants to write Call of Duty players? Because I hate Call of Duty players because they're a bunch of a-holes. 
because they do nothing but talk trash. And they, and they say the dumbest bull crap. It's like you're playing a game and they'll say, Oh, 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 oh I hate everybody. I won't call everybody Edward. And I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, oh no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm joking. What the hell? How do you... Okay, so you're telling me you insult someone and the only way to defend yourself is I'm just joking. You think, oh, I'm just joking. Yeah, that's definitely going to clear everything up. Well, you know what, hey holes Screw you. You know what, Call of Duty? Here's what I think. Where's that game? Where is it? Now I'm gonna show you. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. But basically, here's what I think about Call of Duty. Let me show you something. I have here a comb. <laughs> I messed up my camera. Oh god, I messed up my camera. Oh god, that's a little scary. I have this comb, and I know how to use it. Now, my point is, you a-holes that are talking trash on Call of Duty, you know where I am. I can tell you exactly where I am, but I'm not stupid. You wanna know why I'm not stupid? Because if I was stupid, I wouldn't have the Intercontinental Hardcore Championship. Would I? No. So all you people on Call of Duty are talking trash that... The only way to back yourselves up is insulting people's moms and talking trash. You want to talk trash? How about you come beat me? How about you come try to fight me for this? Because I will put it on the line. I'll put it on the line against any of you a-holes. So Call of Duty players, you see this? I will put this on the line. I will fight you for this. I will fight for... I would say I would fight for God, but God's too valuable for me. He's too valuable to me. For me to let him go. But you see this? You see this? I will put this on the line against any of you 13-year-old piece of craps. Because you think you're better than everybody. Because you like to play Call of Duty with your imaginary guns. And you like sniping people with imaginary guns, shooting imaginary people, thinking you're the best in the world, but guess what? You're not. This is my rant, Call of Duty. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Calm down, foreign. Calm down. Okay. Also, since I did that, we're going to do... You know what time it is. It is shout out time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's shout out time. We're gonna start off with Hunter Strode. Shout out to Hunter Strode for subscribing to me. You get a cookie with a sub in it and a brownie with a like in it. So, congratulations. Now, we're going to my comments because a lot of you people commented on my videos instead of saying anything. So, John Wayne, shout out to him. He's a cool, he is cool. He is a cool dude. It's cool. Then Bandana's kitchen, she subbed for like two seconds and then left. Because apparently she can't speak English. Let's see, who wants to subscribe? Messages. I don't get any messages. Wow. So apparently, okay. Um, it's sad. This is really sad. <laughs> um. Oh, where else you go? I got a couple other people shout out me. Oh yeah, shout out Hypnotic Page. Shout out to Zaz. Shout out to Wiggle Fellas for basically liking comment section story time, which I just talked about. So thank you guys so much for enjoying the video. I hope you guys had a lot of time. Hopefully you guys come back. Hopefully you guys come back for the huge 100 sub celebration party. Hopefully next week we get it. Oh yeah. Spring break! Spring break! Spring break! It's here! It's here! It's here! Spring break's here! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a college kid. I'm sorry. That's right. Spring break's here. Enjoy spring break. Don't kill yourselves for videos. That's not cool. Okay. It's time to end the video. Now go out there and slay.
your stupidity. Hold me some just to get me right. Hold me some just to get me right. Run around the country like a boss too. Run around the world like a diplomat. Told that bitch.